Yeah, so, and you can imagine that sort of mentality is not going to work so well later on. So they end up fighting a very large enemy force, much larger than what they actually have. And again, that's just, that's another thing about this movie that's so cool is you hear all these like battles and war stories and whatnot, but there's a lot that you're not savvy of. And this one is a, is a really solid one. And I'm kind of surprised I haven't heard of it before you guys recommended it because you have this, you know, this relatively small force taking on these like pretty much impossible odds and they do a very, very good job at it. They're very, very successful, which sort of shows the professionalism and the discipline and training that these guys actually have to be able to actually stand up and survive and do really well against this, this overwhelming enemy force. Now, the movie moves on to sort of expand on some of the themes that we already talked about. Like with experience, experience allows you to sort of control things, be a little bit more adaptable, a little more flexible, and sort of predict things that might be happening. But in this sort of environment, it's very, very unforgiving. And sometimes even though you have the experience and you have the training, you have the discipline, things are just out of your control. And it takes that seriousness and just slams it in like the most random moments. And it sort of brings you back to reality. Like, although you can understand what's going on and you might be trained for it, sometimes it's just a really crappy situation. And a lot of crappy things happen to some good people. So we'll talk about some of those scenes here. And then we'll finish up by talking about some of the more subtle things that you'll see throughout the movie that I'm glad they actually included. So in this scene, they're doing their patrol, doing what they're supposed to be doing. You can see they're very serious. They're very keyed in and they're focused on everything because they're sort of moving into the unknown. They don't know what to expect. It seems pretty quiet, but you can tell they sort of they're a little bit more unnerved about that than anything. So it seems like nothing is going to happen. All of a sudden, things just start kicking off. And just like that, you have people that are, you know, dying in front of you. It's pretty brutal. And again, right here, you can see they're sort of, you know, they're trying to enjoy themselves, trying to relax. And then, yep, just a interruption. Everybody has to go, and that's pretty much it. So a really big switch in their attitude which again is cool to see and you'll see that with trained units specifically how they can sort of flip that switch and get into the fight now not being that sort of typical hollywood military movie this one focuses a lot on just like the realness and just like the rawness so it shows that no character is exempt from experiencing that sort of i, I wouldn't even say like heartbreak but that sort of shock of you know how real the situation is so in this particular scene, the LT that we saw previously with the, the glasses and whatnot, that lieutenant ends up getting killed in action. And you can see the commanding officer who was, you know, a little bit egotistical previously trying to request a transfer because he felt like he deserved to be in a better spot. You can see it, it affects him for sure. So again, the movie shows that no one is exempt from feeling that. Four. Running low on ammo, at our strength, need more artillery. Gunshots dead, I'm off. Yeah, and just like that, it gets very real for him. Get 11 more artillery. Because although he's not like directly in the fight right now, he knows that, yeah, things are, are very serious. And they're definitely getting more and more serious. So. Again, it's just one of those things like it's not necessarily in his control. Someone like him probably wants to be in control all the time. And yeah, with these sorts of, you know, battles and circumstances, that's not something that you can be in charge of. Sometimes things just happen and you have to sort of react and take it from there. So with characters like this, it's kind of the film does a good job of showing that. Now, talking about the last couple themes for this movie. Now, although you have this, this seriousness coming in, the movie does a good job of making you like characters that you didn't like previously. So again, we had this sort of egotistical officer who seemed like that sort of stereotypical officer that was a little bit more detached from you know the people that he was in charge of. He didn't really care about them so much because you can see he was trying to get a transfer out of there. He didn't really care. He felt like he deserved to be in a better spot. But now when all this seriousness hits and you start losing some of the men that you're in charge of, you realize that you're taking sort of things for granted and now that it's actually hitting you 
the movie does a good job of sort of showcasing that like human element of like, okay, yeah, this is a very serious thing. I was thinking like this, but now that things are actually kicking off and things are getting very, very urgent very quickly, I need to sort of realize that whatever I'm doing has an impact on the people that are below me. So this scene is pretty badass because it takes that seriousness and that urgency and that sort of human element and it just amplifies it 100%. So you'll see what I mean, but you can see it's definitely starting to affect this officer a lot more when he's realizing what the people underneath him are asking. So in this one, he's asking for the artillery to be fired on his position. So that's where the danger close you know, title comes into play. But you can see it really starts to affect the officer because he starts to understand his actions have consequences for a lot of other people. We cannot move. Almost out of ammo. Request target on my location. Over. This is 3 4. Say again. Over. I need Shell Drake to drop on my position. Over. Yeah, so very, very serious there. He wants me to target his position. And he knows if he's asking for him to this do something four. like that. Say again. Over. Things are getting out of hand. We are being flanked on all sides. About to be overrun. Target my location. Over. This is 3 4. Negative. I can't do it. Over. If you don't stop in the next 30 seconds, <laughs> we'll all be dead. You understand me? Over. And just like that, so it was probably pretty easy for him to make decisions when there wasn't this urgency involved. But now that you have this urgency, he's starting to realize like how serious everything is. And now that he's being faced with these sort of challenges, it's very hard for him to, to be the one that has to make that decision. Like, do I actually drop this artillery fire on their position or not? Because if I do, there's obviously a big risk that they're gonna end up getting killed. Or if I don't, then they might just end up getting killed anyway. And he knows that this guy is experienced and if he's asking for something like that, things are getting pretty out of his control very quickly. And he just, it seems like he's very uncomfortable being the one to have to make those decisions now. And this scene shows that although this dude seemed pretty heartless previously, he does genuinely care about the people he's in charge of. Bob, can you hear me, mate? Yeah, and of course, that's definitely not something that's easy to deal with for, for anyone. Even though it seemed like this dude was pretty heartless previously, he, he's definitely starting to feel it now. Now, I won't go too close to the end for this movie because I do want you guys to check it out. But yeah, you can see as things start to get more and more hectic and more serious, the higher echelons start feeling it. So in this scene, you can see... I think the, the general or what have you, the, the higher commanding officer is even starting to feel it. So although it seemed these higher commanding officers were like untouchable because they were so detached from everything, once they start seeing like the people around them, like hearing the radio chatter, all of a sudden people are leaving because they need to start, you know, making more movement. They need to up the defenses on the installation itself. They know that there's a big possibility of them getting overrun. So they need to take it very seriously because now this is affecting them. Now, aside from that, the movie does focus on some other things. It adds some small details here and there, like this particular scene where he's like really thinking about the fundamentals of marksmanship. Because although things are getting very crazy around him and very violent and these people are getting closer and closer, he's sort of falling back on that training, which is something you hear a lot about in the military. Like when things get really bad and your plans just sort of go to crap, you fall back on your training, and that's what this sort of scene demonstrates here. And throughout the movie, it's not always like totally serious. You will have, again, this sort of ties back into like the human element of it, but you have some comedy, you know, in these really hard situations you wouldn't expect to see comedy but when you sort of hear it even when you're watching a movie it allows you to remember like these are actual real people and they're sort of 
taking the hard circumstances in different ways. And sometimes comedy is just something that you'll see, especially in the military. If you understand that when things get really hard, comedy is always something that sort of lifts people's spirit. Even if it's like, you know, fake comedy or just like a really morbid joke, sometimes it does actually help. Now this scene is really cool. And these pilots are probably some of the more badass characters in this movie. I mean, there's a lot of badasses, but these guys are really cool. Answer me, honestly. You reckon we're gonna get shot down? Honestly? Yep. Jesus, mate. Could have at least lied to me. <laughs> and that seems pretty real. Like, honestly, pilots, they're very professional. But you'll definitely hear them joking a lot of times. Even when things are getting very, very serious, you hear them crack a joke. And it's really nice to even hear it on the radio. It's really awesome to hear that sort of stuff. So these pilots in, the, in this movie are probably some of the, the cooler characters. Because they sort of go against the commanding officer and do their own thing so they can resupply the guys on the ground. So it shows that they actually care a little bit more than some of those commanding officers. Because it goes to show that those commanding officers are detached at that point because they're not actively getting overrun. But you have these people that are trying to go out of their comfort zone, out of their safety, to go and help the people out on the ground. Because they know if they don't, then it can get pretty bad for them later on. But that's pretty much it. Again, I can go all day about talking about how this movie is relatable to what you would experience in the military. But this video is going to get very long if I do that. There's a lot of examples I could have provided as well for like more of the comedy and more of the human elements. But this movie is full of stuff like that. So I definitely recommend you guys check it out. So hopefully this video doesn't get blocked. If it gets copyright claim, that's fine. At least I can, you know, blast it out to all of y'all so you can watch it anyway. But yeah, I do recommend you guys check it out. I do appreciate you guys recommending this movie. It was a good one, just like Unknown Soldier. There's a lot of like really badass movies out there that you wouldn't even necessarily hear about unless you have a buddy recommend it or what have you. Someone, someone who has seen it because it might be a little more personal to them. So for all of you Australians that recommended this one, I wasn't familiar with the Battle of Long Tan until you guys recommended it. And then I was able to find this movie. Some of y'all recommended this movie as well. But yeah, let me know if you guys have seen it. Let me know how accurate it is. Let me know what you thought about it. If there's anything the movie could have done better or again, anything else that the movie did that was really solid as far as making it relatable to people who are actually in the military or who might have experienced the sort of similar struggle. But yeah, I definitely recommend you guys check it out. You can find it on Amazon. You can even rent it on YouTube if you want. But yeah, it's, it's like $4. So I think it's definitely worth it. It's a pretty new movie. So for $4 being this high quality, I would definitely recommend you guys check it out. But that is it for this video. Of course, let me know what you guys think about this video down in the comments section. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, and you can also hit that notification bell so you can get notified whenever I upload some more videos. But again, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. That is it for this video. I'll see you all in the next one.